Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we are going to reveal all the details and secrets that you might have missed in the Bridgerton 2 trailer. We're so happy to inform you that the trailer of one of the most anticipated TV series has already dropped and is filled with so many interesting details. In case you haven't watched it very carefully, we're here to reveal all the secrets that you missed in the Bridgerton 2 trailer. Bridgerton is a saucy historical drama set during Regency London and it is mostly focused on two families, the Bridgerton and Feathering families as they attempt to marry off their eldest daughters. The series are based on Julia Quinn's best-selling romance and the first series pulls heavily from The Duke and I. The second will be inspired by The Viscount Who Loved Me, which centers on Anthony's quest to find a wife during the 1814 season. Miss Bridgerton, are you on well? Him perfectly well. Just like his sister Daphne, his journey to the altar is convoluted, and it will be really interesting to watch this journey. To the evenings you quiet, to the dreams you inhabit. It was really smart in Netflix to drop the trailer for the second Bridgerton season on Valentine's. It made a lot of sense as Shonda Rhimes' series is filled with drama and tragedy of love. After watching the one-minute trailer, it becomes clear that the courtship in this season will be centered on Daphne's brother Anthony and Kate Schwarma, and yes, the upcoming season season will be even more scandalous. Jonathan Bailey, who stars as Anthony, gave British Vogue a sense of what is expected to come in the upcoming season. I feel like the campy, plush spectacle of Bridgerton world is only going to get more pronounced in the best way possible. It's mad and it's brilliant. There are also going to be a lot of brilliant characters introduced in the series, and it's not just Anthony that we're going to delve into. The robust environment that's been set up by Shonda and Chris will just expand and keep pushing boundaries in a way that's quietly subversive. There's going to be more of what everyone loves, I think. There's loads of little Easter eggs for all the characters, said Jonathan Bailey. The new season drops on March 25th, and there are a few stars who decided to return as cast members. Phoebe Dynevor, Jonathan Bailey, and Nicola Coughlin, among many others. In short, we will meet a new character, Kate Shorma, who is played by Simone Ashley. Kate is Anthony's rival and future love interest, and this is exactly what makes the new season kind of spicy and scandalous. The Bridgerton 2 will be mostly focused on the eldest Bridgerton sibling's quest to find a wife, but there are even more interesting details and moments that you should definitely know. Benedict is the second eldest of the Bridgerton siblings, and in the new trailer, we see him with his brothers during a round of fencing. Benedict's a really interesting character, and in the last season, he seemed to be exploring himself in his artistic endeavors by attending parties outside the polite society. But it seems like Benedict yearns for something other than the endless round of dazzling parties he finds himself attending every day. As a result of some parties, Benedict became friends with the modest Genevieve Delacroix. In the new trailer, we can see Benedict having a steamy moment with an unknown woman. It turns out it is not Genevieve, but it is a new mysterious woman. But some eagle-eyed fans notice that she kind of looks like Sienna, his brother's former mistress. What just happened? Brother. You need to worry about Burbrook. Sister, it is done. Do you have any idea who this mysterious woman might be? Let us know in the comment section down below. Eloise is a really unique character, and she's absolutely different from her other female siblings. But after her elder sister Daphne finds love in the most unlikely place with the Duke of Hastings, they live happily ever after. It is Louise's turn to get married. In the first season, she showed very clearly to everyone that she had no interest in having a season out on the marriage mart. Despite her protests, she is the next in line to be matched with a husband. But have you noticed in the trailer that she would do everything in her own fashion, along with her two brothers Benedict? and Cullen, Eloise decides to attend the Royal Ascot, and it seems like she's gambling on the horse race. Not really what a lady should do, but who said she was going to be typical? You probably also noticed the deceased Bridgerton family patriarch Edmund while watching the season 2 trailer. He was seen with Anthony teaching him how to shoot a gun. His relationship with his eldest son is clearly impactful, and it will add to the entire drama some key details of why Anthony is the way he is, many fans also hope that Edmund's appearance through flashbacks will hopefully include the circumstances around his untimely dad. <laughs> well, let's hope, because at least this would be such a logical storyline. 
We all remember that Bridgerton's season 1 finale finally reveals Lady Whistledown's true identity, and there is a true tragic reason behind the author's alter ego. It becomes clear that Penelope Featherington is Lady Whistledown, which is a twist that adds yet more heartbreak to her story. Well, it certainly does not. Look at my mama, three children. That Featherington is normally shy, but she was shining bright like a diamond until she unveils herself to the audience towards the end of After the Rain. She thought that she enjoyed the role writing the scandal papers, but it turned out that there is a deeper layer to it for Penelope. The teaser starts in Lady Whistledown's voice but closes with Penelope's. Based on this, audiences should be treated to an inside look at how this operation works. After a successful first year, Lady Whistledown is back to comment and exploit more gossip. But will Penelope be able to keep up with the demand and keep her secret identity hidden from Eloise? We will probably find out next season, but what are your thoughts on this one? Let us know! Have you noticed that happy-looking Corgi who was making his big screen debut just for a quick second in the new trailer? This cutie's name is Newton, and he is Kate's Corgi who is anything but a good boy. Kate could pose a threat to Anthony's pursuit of her sister Edwina, and Anthony needs to beware of Newton. So don't let this cutie pie fool you. This pup is full of trouble and chaos, and we are dying to see the way he makes some troubles and even imitates Anthony. It will be so cute and really funny. Netflix surprised everyone when it was officially announced that Bridgerton will get a third and fourth series. Esteemed members of the ton, it seems we have a rather special announcement. Bridgerton shall return for seasons 3 and 4. This author shall have to purchase more ink. Speaking of the fact that every season of Bridgerton is probably based on one of Julia Quinn's novels, there is a big chance that the third season will be based on an offer from a gentleman, which sees Benedict fall for Sophie Beckett, the daughter of an earl who is forced to work as a housemaid by her precariously vicious stepmother. And maybe that's an answer to the question. Who was that mysterious unknown woman in the trailer for the second season? Well, but the fans said she looked like Sienna. Anyways, we will see. As for the fourth season, it will probably be inspired by romancing Mr. Bridgerton and chronicles Colin's relationship with Penelope Featherington as he returns to the ton after his European travels. It is all just speculation, but who knows, maybe we're right. But we've got something more to say. God and Shonda Rhimes revealed that there might not be four and not even five seasons of Bridgerton. The producers are willing to create eight series to correspond with the eight novels each of which chronicles a different sibling's romantic misadventures. The concept is that every season there is a couple, and that couple is the hot couple that you're falling in love with, right? Shonda Rhimes told Vanity Fair. And there are eight Bridgertons, so by the time you get to Hyacinth, oh dear god, she'll be grown up by then, obviously we're not going to match up a child. We'll let her grow up, and you'll see her story too. Have you seen the first Bridgerton series? If not, are you going to watch it real quick before season 2 drops? If we missed any more secrets from the new trailer, please let us know in the comment section down below and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.